G'day Scorpio, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Going to do the love energy coming towards you as at now. Let's see what's going on. So it is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something there resonates with your current timeline. Cross watches, this could be you, but if it's not, and you know it's not, then it's someone else. <laughs> Thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes, views. Every single one of them is greatly appreciated so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, every single one of you. And the decks I'm using today, as per usual, will be listed in the description box below in the order that I'm using them. All right, Scorpio, let's go. <laughs> Message for you is getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So always get to know someone first before you deepen your bond. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So, you know, friends who have got good relationships, they're the ones that you want to go to. Um, heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. When you get to know someone, honestly discuss with them what you're looking for in a relationship. And finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Um, I'm getting that you're very career orientated, so um, work's very important to you, so that might be something you have to discuss with them. Um, yeah, getting to know them. They could be someone that you know through your friends. But yeah, you need to have a heart to heart with them and, and actually, ex you know, speak from your heart. But, yeah, I'm getting that you're very career-orientated at this time. Very much about your career. So, you know, it's not that you're not interested in love, but just finances are important. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. <laughs> and we also got this one jump out, calling in your soulmate. Yeah, you're calling in someone. Your prayers, affirmations and visualisations help bring you together so you're definitely trying to call in someone all right let's look at this love energy coming towards scorpio three cards of the love energy coming towards scorpio please well and we got them oh well, reconciliation flipped over as well but that's going back because we already got three one two and one on the floor where to go these ones flew out before that flipped so <coughs> spirit knows i only want three so that one's irrelevant unless you're looking to reconcile with someone <laughs> maybe clear up some stuff or oh, well, they might be trying to clear out look free themselves free yourself it's time to take back control of your life so they could be reconciling with someone to reconcile their differences to free themselves to come towards you Keeping an, keep an open mind, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So they're keeping an open mind about you. I know I said expectations wrong. <laughs> and honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So yeah, I want to spend some time with you over the holiday season. Mm. Bottom of the deck, true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring and retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So they see you as a true love. They're going to let this unfold naturally here. <clears throat> They've definitely got romantic feelings for you. They want to explore and they want to disconnect from the world with you. Spend some holiday time with you. Just you too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this could be someone from the past that freed themselves from you, but um, yeah, that was an extra card, so I don't know what the go with that one was. We'll see if anything comes up about it, but like, we're, we've just started the reading. <laughs> Who knows where it will go? All right. Message for Scorpio is at the bottom. Ooh, Seven of Swords. Page of Cups, Innocence of Water, Two of Wands, 
And the Six of Swords. Oh, and a tower. So moving on from a tower. Unsure which way to go. Might need to apologise for sneaking off. <laughs> Did you sneak off on someone? You want to apologise for something that you might have lied about? Been sneaky about? Or did someone cheat, lie and steal to you and you, you're you waiting for their apology? Unsure on how to move forward. Wanting this tower to fall and holding back your love with the King of Cups, uh, mastering water energy. This can be you holding back your love until there's a change and you can move forward. But until then you're undecided, waiting for an apology for someone who did something wrong to you or did you do something wrong and they're waiting for an apology but you need to apologize to move on hmm. you'll know which way it fits <laughs> you know if you've got a guilty conscience <laughs> uh, yeah Yeah, you could be waiting for this to all come crashing down because you did something wrong, but... Yeah, you'll know if it, that was you. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you know if you've been a devil. <laughs> Alright. Tell me about free yourself for this love energy coming towards Scorpio, please. What are they trying to free themselves from? Mm, the Knight of Cups, actions of love, actions of emotion, jumping in that water for trying to take back control of their life so that they can come in and offer this love to you. Trying to free themselves from an offer of love they might not be interested in too. It's at the bottom. Seven of Wands, yeah, a bit guarded, protecting themselves, standing their ground. Yeah, um, um, getting freeing themselves from, um, um, yeah, so they can offer some sort of love, but they're defending themselves against all these other people. Freeing themselves from all the other judgments that they can kind of, can, 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 uh, uh, speak properly, woman, can come in and offer you this love. But yeah, we've got five of swords here. Mind games, manipulation, winning at any cost. Wanting to move on from that. But yeah, not sure how to, knowing they need to apologise. Oh, so it was them. Yeah. They're that devil energy. Yeah, they're trying to free themselves from having to be so defensive so that they can come in and, well, from you being so defensive, so they can come in and offer this love to you. But they know that they played head games here. They want to move on from that. They're not sure how. They know they need to apologise to you. Water energy, innocence of water energy. Yeah. Apologise for not investing in you. Making you wait. Juggling you. Having it all about passion. Yeah, they want to hear all this. Mm. Okay, so it wasn't you. <laughs> Well, you know, well, it still could have been. could be the other way around. You know how it works. You know you what you're going through. All right, tell me about keeping open mind. This love energy coming towards Scorpio, please. What are they keeping an open mind about? Oh, came right out at the end. The Magician. So trying to keep an open mind that they can manifest its all new beginnings with you. All four aces. And infinity. So they're trying to keep an open mind that they can manifest all new beginnings with you. That things will be different this time. Different to what you expect. Different to what they expect. Eight of Wands. Wanting that back and forth passionate communication, trying to manifest that in, trying to manifest this communication between you two. 
keeping an open mind that maybe you're not interested as well, but really hoping that things will be different because we've got this, um, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So I think they're trying to manifest in to come in different, have things different this time between you two because they do feel this love between you two, two of cups. Four of cups, they know they missed the opportunity before, possibly because they were ghosting. But I think they've gone within and done a bit of soul searching here about what happened and realising why they missed that opportunity. Now, wanting this long-term stability with you, this love and stability, Queen of Pentacles, loving Earth energy, wanting that stability with you. What's this? Yeah, they've d done a lot of thinking, King of Swords, Mastering Air energy. They want a mature conversation with you now about something that's committed and stable here. Done quite a bit of soul-searching about, yeah why they missed that opportunity with this awesome love with you. Hmm. Okay. Tell me about honeymoon for this love energy coming towards Scorpio, please. It's this holiday time together. Yeah, well, that's definitely you, King of Cups. Mastering water energy. Mastering their emotions. Maybe not showing them. Wanting to enjoy that time, holiday time together with you, but they're holding back their emotions here. Keeping them well under control. Possibly not showing them. But actions of stability, Knight of Pentacles is what they want to do. They want to show you this stability. They might not emotionally express anything, but physically with stability, they will show you stuff. Take action. Stable action. Action with nights and earth energy. Action, earth energy. Um, yeah. So, you know, over the holidays, they may not show very much emotion, but they will show... Stab stable action towards you. Ten of Wands, they're very burdened by this. Eight of Cups by the fact that you walked away or they walked away because it wasn't balanced with the Six of Pentacles. And you cut them out. Queen of Swords, um, loving air energy. Queen of Swords, you've got to come correct to the Queen of Swords. She saved that sword. It's been st stuck in her in the past. She protects herself with it so that no one hurts her heart again. Yeah, they know they got cut out because things weren't balanced. That's why you walked away. And they're feeling the burden of that. But they're trying to keep an open mind that they can manifest this communication back between you two. They want to free themselves of having to def be defensive when it comes towards you. That you're guarded. And be able to offer this love to you. Mm, they're hoping in the holidays they can at least show you some stability. Even if you're not interested in seeing their love. Alright, message for Scorpio is... Helpless and hopeless. Ooh, love abounds. Ace of Cups. Yeah. Manifest with the magician and moving on. Wow. So I think you moved on from something here. You moved on from them um, and tried to manifest new love in, but you're feeling a bit helpless and hopeless, maybe because you're still attached to this person. You can't stop thinking about them. Um, you moved on. Maybe you're trying to manifest their love back in again, but you're feeling like it could be helpless and hopeless. It's beyond hope here that this person will come in. They're trying to manifest in you too. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Love energy coming towards Scorpio. What else can you tell us? Three cards, please. Ooh, okay. That's one. 
It's weird how that came out. This is a bit of a th thicker deck, so I can only sort of shuffle half, <laughs> a bit over half at a time. It's too big. Oh, my hands. Come on, two more, please. Oh, that's way too many. And, yeah, okay, that one definitely wants to come out. Oh, there's the two. All right, we got them. So they have Nurture. It's like the Empress. I go by the words on these cards, not necessarily what the things are. Challenging Times and Heal. Bottom of the deck for them is Spread Your Wings, Darkest Fears, Find Balance and Giving and Receiving. Yeah, they want to open up to you, spread their wings. They, you know, I think they're worried that you've flown away. That's their darkest fear, is that you've gone off and spread your wings somewhere else. Um, they want to find balance between you two, especially with this giving and receiving. Two cards are balancing. And they want to give this time when and not just receive, hope that you will receive, finding this balance here, but their darkest fears are that you've spread your wings and flown away. Hmm. Interesting. All right, message for Scorpio is King of Wands, mastering fire and fire energy, Eight of Cups, Four of Swords, and Seven of Pentacles. So I'm getting the. You knew that they were totally in control of all their actions. They knew exactly what they were doing when they hurt you. That's why you walked away. Because it wasn't an accident. It wasn't just childishness. They were very mature, you, you know. Or well, you became very mature with your actions here and walked away. You controlled your passions for this person because you knew they weren't right for you at the time. So you walked away and did your healing and you invested in yourself. But you're also waiting for... Well, no, you're, you're waiting for someone who's stable. Mastering earth energy. Someone who's stable, grounded, wants commitment. That's what you're waiting for and that's what you'll invest in. Yeah, after you, the healing that you've done for walking away from someone who was very controlled with their actions and their passions and possibly didn't express it as we see here. They knew that, yeah, that you think they knew what they were doing to you. Yeah. Oh, it was all, ugh. Knight of Wands, actions of, pa actions of fire, passion and action um, can, can be a player. You felt like they were a player. They were just all about the passion. You're waiting to invest in someone who wants stability. That's why they, they know that. That's why they're coming in to show you stability. But, yeah, you saw them just as being all about the passion. Nothing else. And it wasn't enough for you. Mm. All right. Okay, tell us about nurture for this love energy coming towards Scorpio, please. Two of Wands. So they, they do want to nurture this connection between you two, but they don't know how. Uh, they don't know which way to go to nurture this. They're not sure which road to take. So 
as much as they want to birth this and have a new beginning with you too. <coughs> Five of Swords. Sabotage, manipulation, mind games, winning at any cost. And that's why they don't know what to do, because they know they stuffed it up. By acting like an a-hole. Worried they're going to sabotage it too, I'm hearing. You know, they, they do want to nurture this relationship, but they don't know which way to go because they know they'll probably just sabotage this connection. A lot of work here. Eight of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Two of Swords and the Chariot. Yeah, they're really trying to work out, they're really trying to study and work out the best way to come into you because they know that they've disappointed you. But they've really got no idea on how to fix this and how this will move forward, how to move this forward. They've got no idea how to move, how this can move forward because they know that they've disappointed you greatly. They're working so hard to try and work out the right way to come in here, but I don't think they even know. It's a burden for them. It's burdening them. It's massive weight on their shoulders, the fact that they know they stuff this up. And as much as they want to come back, they don't know how. All right, tell me about challenging times. For this love energy coming towards Scorpio, please. Page of Pentacles, Innocence of Earth. This could be a gift. This could be an in person. They want to see you, tell you something in person, a message message of stability it's challenging for them to offer this it's challenging for them to see you it's challenging for them to even know how to communicate stability to you this is the big challenge for them they're conflicted about it yeah and nine of wands they're, they are so tired they're feeling like a wounded warrior. This is a massive burden on them. We saw that ten of wands. This is the nine. As much as it's a ten of wands to try and work out how to not sabotage this, it's a nine of wands for them to even see you, speak to you. They're totally challenged by this. But they're not giving up. Because they see you as a soulmate with the lovers. King of Cups again. This is water energy, mastering water energy. Page of Wands, Innocence of Fire. And look, the Ace of Cups, yeah. Wanting this new beginning with you. Wanting to send you those passionate messages, but they're holding back their emotions here. Even though they know you're a soulmate. Because they know that they, yeah. Well, they know you'll probably reject them. Because of what happened. They're really stuck. They're hanging. They're stuck, hanging upside down. Don't know what to do. Don't know how to apologise. Page of Cups, Innocence of Water, a message of love or emotion. Really stuck on how to express this emotion, even a small amount. <clears throat> really stuck on how to apologise for what happened. But wanting this passionate new beginning. Okay. Tell me about heal for this love energy coming towards Scorpio, please. The Emperor. They want this to heal so they can feel in control again because they're not in control at the moment. They're a bit of a mess. Um... I need to boss up and heal this, but 
wanting this to heal so they can feel like they're in control again. That's what I just keep hearing. I'm getting also they see you as an emperor, male or female. Just someone who's in control, someone who can run an empire. They want to heal things with the Emperor. And there it is, the Six of Cups. Heal things from the past. Heal the past. Get that memories of love back again, oh my God. And then we've got the Judgment Call of Reconciliation, a second chance. Yeah, they want to heal things with you. They see you as the boss. <laughs> um, and they want to heal what happened in the past. Um, yeah, that judgment, the tower, the magician, and just look for Major Arcana here. They want to. They want a second chance. They want to heal. Their, and this can also be healing because normally. In the right of weight, there is a red cross attached to this trumpet, which is a sign of healing as well. So they want a second chance to heal this with you after it all fell apart and manifest the all new beginnings with you and a balance this time. Balance out the justice, um, do justice to you, um, make up for what they did before. Yeah, they're confused, but they're confused and living in an illusion here. Really confused about how to be that King of Pentacles for you. Stable Earth Energy. Oh, mastering Earth Energy. That's stable, committed. Could be also worried that you've got other options here. Someone who is actually stable in your life. Are you committed to someone else? Hmm. Ow. Whack my hand. All right. Let's get additional information. What's the message for Scorpio here? Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out, love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction, the chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues, Hand of cards, take a chance, risk being strategic option, not showing hands, gambling. So, I I mean, they could be watching you, but I'm, I'm getting this as more like find out, find out stuff. Watch this person. Find out what you need to know. I'm not saying stalk them or gaslight them or anything. <laughs> Um, but find out what you need to know here because you're looking for this love. You've got self-love here as well, unconditionally self-love. You're looking for passion, affection, attraction, but love. Um, don't go chasing it. As soon as I saw that, I heard that. Don't go chasing it. Don't go chasing this person. They might chase you, but don't, you know, don't go chasing them. Make sure this doesn't become a codependent relationship. Um, and hand of cards, I mean, you can take a chance, but be strategic about it. Look at all the options here of what this person's offering you here. What's under that? Yeah, yeah, because um, they could sabotage it, or it could be that they just want to work on rebuilding this healing, see? But you've done healing after something was sabotaged in your life. So taking a chance might not be, you know, the best option. Don't, do not go chasing this person. You're looking for love. So have a good look at this person and <coughs> see if they are offering you like the love that you want. Because if they're not, then they're not the one. Oh, I just saw the chaser again. Wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. This is what you want, but don't go chasing it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm hearing what what is meant to be will never pass you by. So, yeah, don't go chasing something that... 
Yeah. Yeah. Talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text call, email, hoovering. I mean, <coughs> talk to this person. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Talk to this person. Find out what they want. Like, you know, they're in this reading for a reason, so you need to find out what's, you know, what you need to know. To close out, whatever, move forward together or apart okay love energy coming towards scorpio what else can you tell us about them at least three cards oh, i need to chuck that bloody card out just annoys the crap out of me <laughs> one more card please thank you all right they have sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. I think they're stalking you. I think they're watching you. <coughs> they want to know all about you. I've got twin flames, which the card says, yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. Yeah, which is all great if you've learnt your lessons. But otherwise you just burn each other and show each other the harsh lessons you need to learn. So it's not this, oh, beautiful twin flame. No, 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 no. If anything, you'd probably just prefer a soulmate. <laughs> twin flames are friggin' hard. Worth it if you can make it to the end, but you both got to be doing the work. And if one's doing it and the other one's not, they're probably not worth waiting for. Anyway... I'm treating this card as a passionate love connection. Fiery love. Because twin flames are very rare, so we can't all be on these twin flame journeys. So anyway, I need to chuck this card out. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, they see you as a passionate love connection. And photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. They they want to make new memories with you. They, they miss you. They look at your photos. They're watching you. They feel the passionate connection between you two. Healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. Acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Mirror, mirroring each other. Self-image, relationships reflect our wounds. Introspection. And wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. So I think they're willing to make healthier choices this time. Um, they definitely see you as a healthy choice. Um, but they're doing some self-care here and self-love. Making better choices. Choosing to be happier after the breakup. The breakup helped them stop the old patterns here. Um, but you held a mirror up to them. That could be that what I was talking about with those twin flame things. You hold mirrors up to each other, and um, re the relationship reflects our wounds. It helps us see, helps us show us what we don't like about ourselves, what we need to deal with within ourselves. So I think this held up a mirror to them. Hopefully, you learnt lessons out of this too. Um, and wedding rings, they still want to commit to you. They still feel this soul connection. They're hoping you feel the same way too as well. But it did show them, this breakup showed them what their wounding was when it comes to, yeah, why, why this didn't work out before. Now they're making those healthier choices. All right. Let's get the messages at the end. Hmm. Message from Scorpio. What do you want to say? I'm scared I'll get hurt, so I run. Okay. Is that why they came up as a chaser? Were they chasing you? You were running? I'm going crazy without you. I miss you and I look at your pictures a lot. Well, you're both checking each out, out each other's pictures. 
You miss them. They miss you. You're going crazy without them. They're so exhausted and challenged by the fact that they can't be with you either. <clears throat> but you've got a fear here. Uh, and it's justifiable if they've hurt you before. Um, you're scared you're going to get hurt again. You're worried this, this person's going to hurt you again. You've already had to heal and reinvest in yourself. You're not going to just let them back in to hurt you again. As much as you miss them and... Yeah, you want them back. <laughs> you definitely want them back. And you regret letting them go. But there were lessons that had to be learned. You had to learn to... Whatever you had to learn and they had to learn. Not to come in with that Five of Swords energy. So, you know, it's all good. Yeah, there's some regrets in the breakup. Perhaps you think you could have worked things out together, but things happen for a reason, so... Yeah. Alright, love energy coming towards Scorpio. What would they like to say to Scorpio? At least three cards, please. Okay. We got the three. We have... I regret what I did to you. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, definitely. I look at your pictures a lot. Again, you got that, they got that, and they got photograph here. Looking at your photos. Missing you. And you got... Uh, I miss you. Yep, yeah, you're, both, you're both feeling the same way here, and you are beautiful. Of course you are, Scorpio. You're beautiful. But they think you are beautiful. That's the most important thing. Well, it's the most important thing that you think you're beautiful, <laughs> and you know you're beautiful. That's, you know, but they do too. They see you that you are beautiful. Male or female, I don't care. I think some guys are, you know, I've known some men that are beautiful. Just beautiful. Inside and out. Bottom of the deck is, I'm not ready to be with you yet. Okay. I love you. I'm sorry I lied to you. And I just want to be single. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Oh. I'm getting, I'm sorry I lied to you about just wanting to be single. I think they might have said that to you. Did they say they just want to be single? Yeah, they lied about that. They love you, but they're not ready yet. They're still in this indecision mode about how to come in and apologise, and it's really challenging for them to see you at this moment. They're not ready yet. Yet. That's why it's got a different why. <laughs> I don't know why. Why. Why I did that why that way, but yeah. They're not ready to be with you yet. They do love you. And they're sorry they lied to you about just wanting to be single. They've always loved you. So, yeah. Not quite ready yet. But they will be soon. Mm. Alright, Scorpio. Well, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe all that good stuff and we will do another reading in a few days and see what's going on then all right all the best take care good luck and i'll catch you later